Hello everybody and welcome to another one of my tutorial video type thingamabobs. Um, I just got finished making a Hypercam tutorial and I figured I would make one on um, Windows Live Movie Maker, which is what I use. To get Windows Live Movie Maker, you do need to go download it. So I suggest going to Google, I'm still on that, and typing in Windows Live Movie Maker. Now I'm sure everybody has different... Um, I'm sure they all have different, you know what I mean? They all have different uh, downloading softwares and all that. You guys can you guys can use that. Um, this should be free. Yeah, download now. It's free. Um, so click the download button. Like I said, I'm not going to download it because I already have it. Um, but if you don't have it, just search Windows Live Movie Maker and click the first link, and it's right there. Um, obviously, it's it's a self-explanatory. Alright, so what does it look like, you may ask? It has this little weird thing. I think it's actually out here. Is it not out here? It's probably not out here, actually. Yeah, it's not. So I'm going to drag it actually out here. There we go. I thought I had it out here, but I guess I don't. We'll put that over there. Alright, so you can also click that there. And it should open relatively fast, hopefully. Alright, so here we are in Windows Live Movie Maker. Now I'm going to go over some of the basic things that I use to make my videos, um, so I hope you guys aren't too bored. So the first thing you obviously need to do is you need to look for your video. Now my videos are in my documents library, um, I also have some videos in my videos library, so like my intro to my videos usually, so we'll just use that video I guess for now. Um, but usually your videos will go to your documents and you can just search, all my videos are like right here and craziness, I have so many videos. Um, but for right now, I'm just going to use my intro because it's fast and to the point. Alright, so your video should appear in this little quadrant once I start it. Here we go. So there's my video starting right there. Um, obviously, it, didn't, it wasn't there directly because I did add animations and all that fun stuff too. So that's the first thing you need to do is you need to add your video to this section. You can also right click if you have multiple videos and um, add videos and photos. You can also add photos to this. Um, and I guess you can zoom in and out, I didn't know that. Um, but you can also do an add video and photo, you can add a photo. Let's see, like I can add a... I don't know. I can add a... I don't know. I don't know, it's this picture I guess. So obviously you can add a picture too. That's kind of a funny picture, isn't it? And you can also remove it, so that's also how you remove things. You click this remove button. Um, but for the majority of my videos, um, basically what I do is I add the video here. Um, I do sometimes add animations and stuff, um, but for usually I just, and my friends are playing Steam games, um, yeah, that's pretty much what I do, is I, I put the video here, and I, um, can also add videos and photos from this section. You can also add music, which I will go over in, like, five seconds, and you can also do a video from your webcam, so if you have a webcam on your computer, laptop, or whatever, you can click that, and you can also record yourself, so see, hi everybody, hi, and then you click the record button there, and you can cancel, which I'm going to do, because I don't want to do that, um, you know, I guess you can also take a snapshot, um, which I haven't done before, these are stuff I, ha I don't really do, uh, but that's just the basic stuff, these are title screens, so you can do like a title screen like that, or a title screen like that, or, I don't do that though. Um, to rotate your video, you can rotate it like this, doo, 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 doo. Um, which I sometimes do if my uh, iPhone videos are messed up, I just flip them. Now this spot is kind of important here. Um, this is how I directly download my videos to YouTube. I click the YouTube button and it asks me you know, what size I want. Usually my YouTube or my Wizard 1 videos are this size. You should always do recommended sizes though because that's the best. Um, resolution size for this video. Uh, just this video in general. If I was attaching this video to another one of my Wizard 101 videos, it wouldn't really matter. Um, but that's also how you download it. I'll just do it actually for now. I'll just click this. And then it'll take you to a page where it's like, okay, so you want to log into YouTube. And you type in your stuff. And then it comes up with this page and you type in all your stuff. Da -da 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 
then you select your category, and then you just publish, and it starts publishing. Um, a lot of the pro times, though, I get, I lose internet connection, and it takes, like, forever to download these things, though, so I have to start all over again, which kind of sucks, but, you know, what can you do? Um, if you're doing, like, I haven't done a Wizard 101 music video yet, I really want to, but it's, it's kind of, like, a big feat for me if I did, and people are Skyping me, ignore that. Um, but I'm sure if you did, you would be using lots and lots of animations, and this has tons of animations. Um, it doesn't have as many as this. It has, uh, it has more. I don't really want to screw up this video, though, but I guess you can't really, I guess you can't really screw it up. Uh, but this also has a lot more animations, so I don't know why it's saying that I don't have that many. I have more animations than that. I don't know why it's not saying that. I think it's visual effects. I don't know. Alright, so then you can you can do the duration, you can change the duration of the transition, and the transition is just like going from one thing to another thing. So when you see this part right here where it goes, it fades out, that's a transition. Um, you can also change how slow and how fast they are, and you can apply it to all of the uh, videos. So I actually, I put all these videos together, and I saved it, so that's why it's kind of like a cool little video thing that's going on here. Um, also this makes it... I don't know why it's doing all that funky stuff right there. I don't know why it's doing that. I don't know. So see how it goes up? Like when I'm running, it goes up. That's what these do. That's what. Oh, there's a lot of these too. Which you can go through if you want to do that. Um, there are visual effects, so it makes the video look kind of blurry and and posterized, and you can do this cool little effect things there. And keep in mind, this is all free. You don't have to pay for any of this. Um, also project. This is quite important, and now Kaylee is Skyping me. No, I'm not done yet. Um, make sure it is set as widescreen, because if it's not, you're going to get tons of black bars around it. I managed just to get two on the, one on the top and one on the bottom, but not on the sides. So make sure you click widescreen. Um, standard is usually used for, like, videos that are, you know lower quality and all my sanctuary videos that you see I could actually use with standard so it depends on what kind of you know video you want on YouTube so you make sure you do widescreen that's the best thing to do um, view so you can also zoom in I don't really do any of this stuff and you can also edit it which um, is mainly for the music so there's also a video tool or I guess there's not a video tool um, if you want to add music, I get a lot of people asking me how I, how you can add music. There is an add music button. Uh, you can add music. So what I do to um, add music is I use this thing, this program called YouTube to MP3 converter. And if you go, let's see, I'll go find it for you guys. Um, it is free. It's probably illegal to do, but hey you know what can you do so what you do is you go to a YouTube video and copy the link in and you can convert the video um, they're actually they're going through a, a little uh, issue with uh, this kind of thing going around um, but then you can download the music which is kind of nice hopefully and once you do that it'll go into your download section so I actually have a lot of songs on here I have a lot of Titanic songs and all these songs um, so we will let's use just um, Let's use Hero, which is this one, I think. Yeah. So make sure, you have to make sure the song is actually an MP3 or it's not going to work. Uh, so what I'm going to do right now is I'm actually going to video, I'm going to turn out the video volume. You can also turn out the video volume. So if, if you don't want to hear yourself talking or hear something else and you just want the music to be playing, you can turn down the video volume and turn up the music volume up here. So there's two different options up here, video tools and music tools. Um, so hopefully you'll just hear the song. Yep. Hear the song, guys? You should hear the song. Um, so that's that. You can also, uh, make it shorter and like that and drag it and do all the things you want with the video or with the music, I guess. Oh, that's just screwing it up, aren't I? So then you can also do Control z which is a very helpful thing. Um, you can also set the start time to a certain part you want in your music or, like, if it's at... Let's bring it here. So the music is at a uh, 5.95. You can start it at 5.95, or you can end it at 27 point something. Uh, if it's really that long of a music, but it's not going to. You can also fade in out and fade in and out the music, which is kind of nice because it doesn't sound like it's at the end. 
which is kind of abrupt and annoying. Um, also, going back to video tools, you can trim it. You can also split things. So if you don't like something, you can split it. There's a lot of stuff to this, guys. It's hard to go over everything. Um, there's a split option here. So it splits two videos. So if I say, like, hey, guys, I can actually split out the guys part and get rid of it and just keep the hey, um, which is kind of nice. The speed of your video. That's kind of important, too. So if you want to, if you did a really extremely long dungeon and you just want to add music to it, and you don't want people to sit there and watch the entire thing for like two hours you can speed it up to how, however fast you want it. You can do 64 times. It's gonna go really fast so watch this. It's done. Yep, it's done. For that kind of video it's gonna be that fast. Um, you can also do that. You can fade out the video volume if you want. There's, there's a lot of stuff guys. Um, but I hope this helped you somewhat. It's a lot, I know. Um, but if you want to try and start making videos, this is the type of t thing to use for them. It's a good starter program. Uh, hopefully when I get a better computer or a better desktop or whatever and I have money, I can go buy a better editing program and my videos will probably look a lot cooler. Uh, but for the time being, I'm stuck with uh, this. Which is not a bad thing. I really like this. Um, it gives good quality too, so it's kind of nice. Um, but yeah, I hope this guy's helped you somewhat. If not, leave your comments down below if you have any questions. Um, obviously I can't answer all of them. But if you do have questions, let me know in the comments. And yeah, I hope this helps some of you guys. I will talk to everyone later. Bye guys.